I have dreamt of coming to Lox for a couple years now. This resort has been on my lifelong bucket list. And now I'm here, thanks to Clue Bindings, we uh, made a Lox stop. However, it is not the greatest park day because this resort is known for having a world-class, top-of-the-line, best-you-can-get terrain park. Sadly, that is uh, not the best day for the park riding. That being said, there is some fresh snow. We might try to go look around and try to find some fresh snow. We have a guide today that uh, lives, literally lives in locks and he's gonna show us around. Should be rad time. So enough talking, let's go explore this European ski resort. Protected zone. Every time you see like uh, this uh, little stick, with this square, uh, protected zone. On this Left side. of the sign. Yeah. Five yeah. thousand. Yes. That's a lot of money. So that's why I'm telling you as well. Normally you never go there. Me, I go all the time. So this is super cool. Pablo, our guy, told us that the snow park has built these kickers all around the ski resort. And when they have a good snow year, it's a bad snow year right now in Europe. But when they have a good snow year, obviously this will fill in with snow and everything. And then you have these backcountry booters just chilling around in these areas. There's another one down there. Like that's super cool. And like the fact that the resort does that, like, ah, oh, it's so cool. I wish it was a better snow year. River. <laughs> I could only imagine if this had a lot of snow, how fun. Oh, yeah. Kind of cool to be riding in the trees here in Europe because everything has been above tree line, so we're pretty low elevation right now. Jonathan, Lucas, nice, to nice to meet you, Lucas. Jonathan. Good thing we got clues. Right now, it's not the best conditions for park. Mega, mega red. Look at this rail. That is crazy. Like a bunch of quarter pipes. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of space between each feature. But, uh, just kind of rip. So these chairlifts are crazy to me. They're, they all have these tube-like things that makes them look like spaceship things. It's like they themed them. Like when you get off the tram, it says like Galaxy, and they have like a space-themed restaurant and stuff. It's really cool. It's almost as futuristic as Clue Bindings. We just need this to break open and we'll have the best day ever. We're filming. Hopefully the sun comes out, I can see more. While we wait for the Clue team to come down, it's a great time to mention like Clue Bindings are insane. They brought me out to Europe. They said they were gonna do this three years ago. And here we are in Lux in Switzerland, shredding. Like I've gone to Germany, Austria, and now Switzerland. Going from never leaving the United States, this has like been the raddest, coolest trip, but it's because of these rad hybrid step and binding system. Clue Bindings, these dudes are pushing the limits of the sport and trying to in innovate and do new things. And this is just the beginning of what they wanna do with snowboarding, which is 
so rad. So what I need you guys to do is not only go subscribe to their YouTube channel, but we want to get them to 100,000 followers on Instagram. And you're going to want to follow them because once again, this is just the first product and thing that they want to do in the industry. So if you're following them, you're going to see all the other really rad stuff that they want to do. So please, just for me, like do this one for me guys, because we're out here making rad content. They wanted this to be a gift to you guys. They're spending a lot of money for us to be out here ripping around making content, 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 content. I literally have so much clips and stuff that are gonna be posting for months. I, I'm so, like, this has been a dream trip. So go follow Clue on Instagram for me guys. I would really appreciate that. It's in the description of the video. Oh, I went too slow. Oh. <laughs> It's hard to see, but this is the Lux half pipe, which is the best half pipe in the world, some people say. Like in the US, I think copper is one of the best pipes, or the best pipe. And then, oh, here we go. Lux, the best half pipe in the world. The longest half pipe. We will not be going in there today. So we wandered a little higher and just uh, noticed they have more parks. So they have like a really beginner park right here. And then they have like a medium size, but like medium jumps up over there. And they all have T-bars, like their own lappable T-bar system. Like this is just a sea of stuff. So many things crossing and going over and trams. It's it's wild. But the ski dock was like, hey, we should go explore a little bit. And I was like, you know, we could ride park anywhere. We can't explore locks any more than just today. So we're going to dump down this lift real quick. Do a quick, quick run before lunch. And then hopefully the sky just keeps getting clearer and clearer. We can finally see the mountains around. It's gorgeous. There's so many wind lifts right here. Whoa! <laughs> that was, I came out of nowhere. These mountains on a powder day are so insane. And like, this is like a day or two after a powder day, but it's still just money. This is so sick. There's a kicker. The fact that people just make their own little kicker on the ski resort is so cool. That is also not allowed in the US. Some really cool resorts will let you do it, but for the most part, you need patrol to come shut that down. Split the tree. Woo. Bowl is sick. This seat is heated. We've had this in gondolas so far in this trip, but not a chair. I, I don't know if I do or don't like it because right now it's really hot in this area. As you can tell, all the snow is melting away. But I bet on a really cold day, this is pretty nice. All right, we're going into this mothership, spaceship, insane looking building for some lunch. And then hopefully we get a full blown break in the weather and we can go explore. We, we're gonna go way further after lunch. All right, we're done with uh, lunch. So weird, I don't ever eat lunch in America when I'm riding. However, we are riding a lot longer than I normally ride too. <sighs> but the food here is insane. It's like real food. We decided to... <laughs> <laughs> we decided to come back into the park because this is about as clear as I think it's gonna get today. So we were like, ah, whatever, this is sick. <laughs> I, I missed it. That's the lunch. <laughs> right. You want to go into them? Yeah, we can, yeah, let's try it. We can see it. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Try to do a way back with it. I like that right side better. So. I will say I always hate steep sections like that in parks because it takes so much of your energy to just not go crazy, crazy fast. The ollie on that's so like too much. That park is a leg burner. It's like, it is long. The amount of steeps you gotta get through and then how choppy it is. I, I cleared it a few times. All right guys, this weather is relentless. It's absolutely puking again. Not the best park weather. I mean, this resort is massive. It has a bunch of other rad stuff to do, but uh, we really wanted a nice park day. And as you can tell, it's not the case, but today was still super rad. It's still fun to get in and get some tricks on the, the park features. Nothing will beat yesterday at Montafon. Like you gotta go check out that video. It was, it changed my life. It's the best resort I've ever been to. At least the best day of snowboarding probably I've ever had one of them. It's up there. It was so good. Gidoc, thanks for coming and helping film these videos my dude we this is our last day shredding in the alps for now we'll be back you jumped some of the biggest cliffs and drops that you've ever done in your life how was that if you ever get to that point where you're like i don't want to do it but you know it's good go ahead and go through with it because the reward is great it is that's what makes action sports magical and i once again have to say thank you so much to clue bindings this has been a dream like not only to come and ride in europe and it was a dream that me and michael talked about in the very beginning but like this trip has been amazing and perfect this was like the only like weird day and it's still a rad day you know it's just like a normal day of shredding and at the end of a trip uh after having your best day of riding ever which was yesterday you know i call them good day hangovers so it's hard to have a day that matches the previous day i'm stoking i'm stoking on, on all levels and i hope you guys if you enjoyed the content if you have subscribe especially if you're over in europe if you want to snag one of my stickers they ship worldwide for free so if you live in switzerland or you live in austria or germany or anywhere in europe or the world they will come to you for free well you gotta buy them but then they ship to you for free i know this is kind of an information dump here at the end of the day the end of the video but guys this was this was a big deal for me we have a lot more awesomeness coming your way in the near future with clue we've got a couple more days in europe i'm excited for that as well so enough talking thank you so much for shredding with us today keep evolving we'll see you tomorrow another video it's daily on the channel we do stuff like this Damn.